Welcome back, Polygoners. Thank you so much for joining us. We are currently about to be going into game number three of our second best of seven between our two grand finalists in Hope Team League. Thank you so much for joining us over the last five weeks of events. And you guys have joined us twice a week, five weeks so far thank you so much that has been season one with four of teams in the round robin eight teams in the elimination round and these two teams in our finals my beautiful co-caster this evening is none other than bel-air welcome to hope team league my friend yeah i enjoyed it pretty much uh till now but uh I I hope that uh, the enemy of Cyclone Gaming can get back into the series because at the moment it uh, seems that they just had one map win mm -hmm. in the whole, in these whole two best of seven we see right now. So did they just get lucky, or do they really have a chance to win here? Yeah, well, I honestly think their best chance to win was going to be fights and crime i'm still a little bit concerned like why they sent them him up first like i just don't think that was the best tactical decision and i think it might actually cost risen um because currently Cystorm gaming not only is the favorite going into this but also up to zero this might be a 4-0 sweep, man. We have to prepare ourselves mentally for this. But hopefully, hopefully, we will see a little bit more of an exciting game out of these two players than we have seen so far. It is going to be another Terran vs. Protoss. And we're going to be doing this one on Ad Odyssey Ladder Edition. So tell me a little bit about this matchup and this map. I should tell you something about this map and the matchup. Well, the matchup is TVP. Um, I'm expecting... Well, Oracle openers are always a good opener as long as uh, does not uh, sticks to it but because that's uh, most often a lose if you don't win right away. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, we have seen uh, Widowmine drops from Sugar as an opening, so I would consider that uh, a possibility of a game start. Yes. But th since I don't know GG Nor, who is starting in the top left corner right here, uh, anything can happen. <laughs> yeah, you want to go and introduce that player? I already, I already did, I guess. From Team Risen, it's GG Nor, and you actually have to uh, put the speed down because we are still on. On faster. It's supposed to be on faster. Yeah, it's on faster, but it's on twice the speed. Ah, at the moment. shouldn't be faster time, Sue. Sorry. Yeah, All right. Uh, Thanks for saving no us there. Yes. <laughs> so GG No Re will be playing against Cystorm Gaming's currently dominating player. He is taking a fast expansion. It is Sugar. And th that was an SUE, right? The scout SUV from Sugar gets wrecked uh, after it uh, came outside of the base. That's the Reaper coming up for Sugar. And I guess he will just have a look at the natural expansion mm -hmm. of GG of Nori if there is any, but I don't see that yet. We have a robotics already, the Twilight Council, and this is too much stuff to handle the expansion. This looks like a one-way scout from the Protoss. Yeah, and I think Sugar is going to be getting a really solid scout off this. So it's really weird. He even recalled his units! Yeah. <laughs> it's really weird for me to see a one-base build that doesn't try to deny any kind of scouting out of his opponent. Because his, op his opponent has scouted both the fact that this is a one-base build, the fact that it, he has gotten the fast robo, the fact that he has gotten a fast twilight. I don't know, does he know that this is going to be Dark Temple, man? This is, this is kind of out there. 
I, I, I don't know what I'm seeing right now because this is bullshit into bullshit into... Well, okay, you're Protoss, you can do that. Um, but will that work out? Because um, it seems like he's building some kind of old Nanibus style with uh, fast Dark Templar warbits. But do we see an engineering bay already? Yeah, it's there, so potential of turrets is on Sugar's side, and that would totally deny any pressure with Dark Templars. He's even scanning the main, and at least now we've seen the Dark Shrine, and he knows what's up. Yeah, and behind all of this, we are going to be having a little bit of a warp prism action. You know, the Mothership Core has been uh, not only scouted, but almost killed off by these two Cyclones. So the Cyclones are already in position to shut down this uh, warp prism, and ew, this could be bloody. <laughs> There's no way in. You see that? G Ranger takes his expansion now at the 5 minute mark. I mean... So, I'm no Terran player or Protoss player, and I it, don't cast this matchup too often. But that seems a little late to me. This... <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're totally right. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dark Templars, uh, as you can see, they, they try to do something, uh, and yeah, they actually kill off one, one of the Cyclones, but... That's it. They kill two two workers. Okay, and on the high ground they are waiting some widow mines. The marines. There's no stim yet. The dark templar gets another sh kills off, and the war prisma. That's the important part. Gets away. So maybe he can even save those units. Oh okay, no! That Viking. One more oh, shot. That was a key stalker save, pushing that Viking that, away. That's the. I mean, how is that thing even flying, anyways? B, this must be like you know half wing, and the engine is, uh, and the engine itself is uh, touching the ground because that thing is floating like half meter above the ground because yeah. it's so low and on HP. Uh, the Duck Templar doesn't even go into it because even he says no. Uh, I don't. No. 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 I, this I this Viking, this Viking has all of the flying ability of one of George Lucas's X-wings. <laughs> oh, he would have hit the photon torpedo, and the war prism would be dead. So um, I doubt it. Yeah. Yeah. So are you, Star are you a Star Wars fan? Uh, yeah, but but let let let's face it, not all of that is the most scientific of sci-fis. Not? I thought it was all hyper-theoretical uh, feasible. Yeah. Like, bu bu building a spaceship which is, uh, like, half of the, our moon's size. Yeah, yeah. You know. And that can blow up planets. Um, once I read an article of what an actual Death Star would cost the US government like something like uh, 153 uh, tri trillions, mm -hmm. and the first comment beneath that is, "So it's doable." <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> you know, I, I, I saw, laughed so hard. <laughs> I saw a video once that said the rebels were actually the bad guys for blowing up the Death Star because <laughs> now the galaxy had to live in like absolute abject poverty uh, because it would take uh, and, like and 300 Anarchy. years of taxes yeah to, to, to replace that uh, I, don't know. I don't know how true that is but we have one Protoss who would be able to tell us all about it and that's GD Nobri he is just now getting his third base up he knows all about yes. not being able to afford jack shit. look and look who has a one base uh, play, so uh, a two base play now. It's uh, Sugar. And look at this middle wine placement. He is really. Uh, well, is he just sniping for the four prisma to come back? I think he has basically been like WTFing for a while. Like, why hasn't this guy left? What kind of all in is he going to do on me? 
I, I think that's basically what's going on here, my friend. Oh, no, no, he's floating over a third base for right as we speak. Yep. Oh, the Phoenix is. He's trying to kill one of the medivacs, but uh, Marines are in place and he's losing more than he. But the army is. I mean, it's not big, but the High Templars, as soon as they get stormed, mm -hmm. I would really, really try to avoid them. And these numbers of charge and this nice feedback there on the medevac, there's no way out for those marines. And this is a good part gone of the Terran army. But that's not all. There is more! <laughs> if he spends out his widow mines pretty nice, um, I think... Uh, I think this army could have a hard time because of the AoE. Could even in Klabusta Bear by Klabusta Bear, by the way. <laughs> Just have to get to read that guy. Um, at the moment, not mm -hmm. too many people are watching because it's English content. And, uh, yeah. No doubt, oh. man. Totally get it. A really, really bad engagement here for the Protoss. Of course, saves us a, a little bit. I don't know what that one Marine was up to. Maybe. <laughs> You know, this is the guy who stays in the bar, even though he knows there's a bar fight right around the corner, and he just order, orders another drink. <laughs> well, dude, I am honestly not sure why Gigi no Re, uh, he's just gone like completely macro and honestly I didn't think this was gonna work but I have to ask man has this game like normalized is this like it, it seems like he's going carriers right and he's about to get 1-1 upgrades but his opponent's on 2-1 and he's about to be on 4 base yeah and he has a pretty terrific army ball of 110 supply almost. Yeah, three we're times we're... his own army supply, by the way. And you know, those marines, they just focus focusing everything to death. Except they run into a hell of a storm. All those Templars are just walked in and wiped away. This base was just established. Uh, there are... Is he storming his own army right now? What is GG Noray just doing right here? He lost 10 probes and he cannot even, even do anything about this super fast bio army running around here, so... Um, mm -hmm. Not at all. He, he lost the base, he lost probes, and there's nothing left. I mean, nice investment you had there, but uh, the course crashed and you're left with nothing. Rebuild it and try again. We have Five Marines standing here on the, on the nine o'clock position. I guess this is for uh, the denyment of another probe um, establishing an axis right there. But at the moment, I would say Sugar could run right over there and just kill him. I don't know why he's not doing it. Sorry, man. Someone is blowing my phone up. It, it, uh, it's, it's no problem. Um, yeah, I'm probably but, but going to have shaft. to. Yeah, um, like my phone is still blowing up. I'm probably going to answer it on the next time it rings. But I'm trying to make sure that that's after this game. Anyways, right. we are getting some really intense gameplay and some excellent casting by you over the last few <laughs> moments. And these Marines, man. Uh, here's the thing, dude. Throughout all of this, Gigi no Re has been getting upgrades and has actually Look at this. been maxing his army. He's at half the spy now, whereas it was only a third last time I looked, so... This is still not enough, and the, well, the AoE damage of the Liberators, quite some work within the Phoenixes. Storms are raining down uh, the dodges of Sugar. Well, they are okay, but the storms do really harm his army. And he lost more supply than the Protoss right here. Um, the Protoss didn't lose uh, too much right there, but he... Mm -hmm. uh, how, how many storms are left? It's like four or five. Um, mm -hmm. th this army is vulnerable to storms. 
yes. no ghosts, no EMPs, so you are vulnerable. And uh, he is even mixing in some DTs if he's not whopping them on the other side. No, he mm -hmm. isn't. So the Terran is not, not sc uh, scanning, probably, and all the time. Mm -hmm. Might lose a lot of units right there, but he's... This is just like a run-by here, <laughs> getting some probes, and he is making sure that the Widow Mines get sweet connects. Sadly not in the high temp does that would have been nuts, but he is showing force and he is making sure that Gigi Nore has no way to move on the map without him even knowing. You have to wonder though, has he given his opponent a chance to get in this game? Hold on. There is a chance that he gets back into the game because it, it, you see him building two carriers at once. And this is some th a problem that gets bigger at the moment. I see no Vikings and with pure marine and, and a certain account of uh, carriers, it gets really hard to clear them up. The Dark Templars here though do a lot of work, even though the base is falling for the Protoss. His army is spreading in, the High Templars are in the front, there's no meat shield. And I think those carriers are... They would have been dead if the half of the army would have, wouldn't have been uh, Marauders. But it's GG Nure who is calling GG and uh, Psystorm Sugar sh seems to be the unbreakable Terran. He takes 3 now. Sugar is showing himself to be an amazing player, and since I kind of missed that last little little engagement there, I did not mean to. I thought this this had at least a few more moments in it because, let's face it, uh, that was a uh, Sugar had given his opponent the ability to like almost get back into this game. So hold on one second. I'm gonna I'm gonna back this up. Maybe another 10 more seconds. We'll, we'll see that last engagement again. Is that okay with you? Yeah, I'm totally fine with that. Yeah, so so just like uh, summarize like what the main... So, yeah, so so uh, the Marines and Marauders streaming in and the the backline support. Mm -hmm. uh, he, at, at the first place, he's not uh, noticing the DTs. The base of the Protoss is falling, so do the probes. And his whole army is spread out and I don't know what GG Nore just fought. He, he's just left with with some high Templars mm -hmm. and and those carriers. And there's enough bioforce left to uh, focus these carriers down. There was just no meat shield left, no mm -hmm. charge zealots or anything to uh, give this carrier space to let the interceptors work. So no buffer, no ground whatsoever no buffer, no to ground. support you such high technological ar uh, army. Yeah. Uh, so, in other words, for Zerg, it's like going super fast, Broodlord, no infestors. <laughs> Kinda. Okay. Uh, and you don't, and you don't even buy links uh, to buffer that up. Yeah, you, exactly. You just, huh. you, you just go. I, I mean, carriers are not even fast as well as Broodlords are. So you need something. You you need to be, uh, you need to. Um, well, make some space for your uh -huh. high-tech unit. If you don't, you die. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.